Uh, happy Mother's Day, feliz domingo por la mañana y feliz día de las madres. Welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Amen. Amen. Pastors Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you. Uh, bienvenidos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. Amen. So prepare yourselves. God has great things for you. He always does, you know. Yes. And uh, say this with me. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Amen. In this place. Praise God. Satan, Thank you. you must go. You must go. Uh, you know, before you uh, get with him on a daily basis and spend time with him, say, Holy Spirit, <laughs> you are welcome in this place. Yes. You know, the Bible says that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Amen. We just assemble ourselves here today and uh, encourage one another. Amen. And we want to encourage and uh, say thank you to all our our uh, mothers and uh, happy Mother's Day to you. We're going to be talking about um, that mothers are gifts from God. Amen. So praise God. Prepare yourselves to receive. Prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Amen. So praise God. You know, I always see it this way. I'm a learner. Uh -huh. And uh, as I walk through this world uh -huh. on a daily basis, yeah. I see myself a learner, not a failure. You know, it's so easy for people and see yourself as a failure, but you're not. You know, you may have some uh, problems, you may have some setbacks, but you're a learner going yeah. somewhere to happen for God. Yeah. Amen. And we're learning something new on a daily basis. Amen. So those of you that are joining us by audio or video, we welcome you. Prepare yourselves yeah. to receive all those mothers that are listening. Uh, we would just want to say happy Mother's Day to you. Amen. So praise God. Get go to the next one. Happy Mother's Day. Give me another slide. Uh, uh, happy Mother's Day to all in the world. To all mothers in the world. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Before we go any further, let's uh, grab our swords, grab our Bibles. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And say it like a mean at church. Yeah. Amen. Be excited. Here we go. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today I'll be taught the word of God and boldly confess. My mind is the Lord, my spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. You're learning Amen. always on a daily basis, yes. constantly learning what the word has for us. Amen? Amen. So prepare yourselves. Yes. Hallelujah. Let me see how I want to do this. Go to the next slide. The mother, she's amazing, she's loving, she's strong, she's happy, she's selfless, and she's Graceful. Keep going. Feliz Dia de las Madres. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. That's beautiful. One more. There you go. A madre. What's a madre? Es maestra. Es amiga. Es dedicada. Es la roca. Y es un ejemplo. Amen. This is awesome. Praise God. This is a madre. One more. Okay. We'll, uh, Pat, skip that one. Skip that one for last. There we go. We'll, we'll stop right there. Amen. Anyway, I wanted to read it to you this way. And we don't want to exclude no one. Happy Mother's Day to all moms, yeah. grannies, great grannies, stepmoms, foster moms, pet moms, <laughs> and all those that have been lost and already in heaven. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. So you know what? You have great memories. Always treasure yeah. those memories, amen. Yeah. Praise God, and we don't want to exclude any. You know, we thank God for 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 the uh, foster moms and the stepmoms. Praise yeah. God, amen. Yes. Hallelujah, you, Hallelujah. Praise God. Anyway, get ready, church. I have a card for you for 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 all the mamas here. <laughs> it says, "A loving mother is a gift from God." Yes. Amen. Yeah. And that's what you are. You're a gift from God. So praise God. And uh, signed by other pastors. <laughs> so this is for you all. Mama's here. Amen. I flip it to you. I was going to. Well, never mind. We don't go there. Happy Mother's Day. Feliz Dia de las Madres. Mothers are a precious gift from God. They're gracious, uh, intelligent, faithful, and tenderness. Uh, can you find, it, find, find that one for me, Carmen? I know it's there. It's live. It's all red. There we go. My mother's a gift from God. She is gracious. She's intelligent. She's faithful and tender or tender hearted. Amen. Praise God. 
Today we're here to worship the Lord and also to honor moms. Many of us wish we still had our mothers. Some of us have already lost our moms and God be heaven. But even if not, continue to remember them, love them, and honor them. Amen? Amen. The first love of your life is generally your mother. She is the one without whom you would not be delivered into this world. She is right. one who usually teaches and corrects you throughout your childhood years. When you are really blessed, she is one who goes before or from being a mom to being a teacher, being your coach, and even the one of your best friends. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Other than Jesus, a mother is one who we see in the Bible given uh -huh. great glory and great honor. Amen. And two of our greatest moms in the revival that we talk about is Eve was the first woman on earth. She was the first wife and the first mother. She is also known the mother of all the living. Mm -hmm. And Mary, of course, was the wife of Joseph and the mother of Jesus Christ, yes. who was conceived within her by the Holy Spirit, yes. as she as a virgin. Amen. So praise God. Prepare yourselves to receive. And we love our moms. And we just want to say thank you to them. Amen. Amen. As a nation, we celebrate honor Mother's Day once a year. It is a day when we honor our mothers for all they've done. We don't have the weights once a year. We can celebrate and honor them on a daily basis. Amen. Yeah. So listen, love, accept, and forgive them. Yeah. And enjoy them while you have them. Yeah. Settle differences. Amen. Because the enemy yeah. comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Right. He wants to divide. Oh, yeah. Amen. And right. there's so many distractions and so many things, you know. Mm -hmm. Just like the prodigal son, we find things for ourselves. And we find things of our own that's going to pull us away. Mm -hmm. That's right. A mom will continue to be a mom from life to the end. Amen. From birth to the end. Yeah. She's going to be your mom. She's going to love you. She's going to pray for you. And she's never going to give up on you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So praise God. She'll pray and continue to pray for you. She'll continue to love you. It's just like Jesus mm -hmm. loving us with an ungodly, I mean, excuse me, un, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, unconditional. unconditional. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> <I'm, That's good. laughs> unconditional love. Yes. That's the mom. And always yes. see the good in you. Yes. Always praying for you. Yes. No matter what kind of rascal you've been. Oh, no matter how bad you've been. Yes. Mom's always praying. Mom's yes. always loving you. She's yes. always receiving you. Yes. Always taking you back. Amen. No matter what. That's the mom for you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. So listen, love, appreciate and love. I forgive them. We're going to get into commandments in a few minutes. And enjoy them while you have them. You know, don't wait <laughs> till it's time to go visit the casket to say, oh, mom, you know, <laughs> I love you so much. Well, if you did, why didn't you go visit her while she was still alive? Yeah, yeah. Now's the time to call her yeah. or now's the time to visit. You know, don't wait till they're laying in the grave and saying, <laughs> you know, it's too late now. <coughs> why don't you come and share with her yeah. and let her know how much you appreciate her and love her yeah. while she's still alive and living. Amen. <laughs> You know, the best thing you can give is your love. Yes. Give her your attention and let her know how much, how grateful you are, how much you love her. Amen. So don't put it off. Amen. You know, <laughs> we have priorities. Yes, Jesus should be our top priority, uh -huh. but mom should be right yes. up there. Amen. Amen. So we should never forget. Never, never, never leave him. Amen. That's right. As a matter of fact, We'll get right into our commandment. The Lord commands us to honor our father and mother. Yes. Uh, yeah, that, that next one. That year right there. <clears throat> Deuteronomy 5, 16 says, in the, of course, two old uh, uh, commandments in the Old Testament. The fifth commandment tells us, honor your father and your mother yes. as the Lord your God has commanded you. Uh -huh. That your days may be long. And that it may be well with you in the land which the Lord your God has given you. Yes, this one says, that, honor your father and your mother as the Lord your God has given, has commanded thee. That thy, may, that thy days may be prolonged and that it may be well, go well with thee. Amen. So you want things to go well. Not only are you going against God, but now you're going against 
what mom's teaching you, what mom's yeah. raised you to be, amen, what mom wants you to be. Yeah. And uh, the Bible says to honor her. Yeah. Amen. This is a commandment. This is not lightly. God has given us a command to honor our father and mother. It didn't say if they were perfect. Oh, it just right. says honor them. Right. Right. Amen. Yeah. So settle whatever differences are there, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> Exodus, uh, next one. Uh, Exodus 20 and 12 in the Old Testament. Again, our fifth commandment says, honor your father and mother that your days may be long. Upon the land which the Lord your God is giving you. Right. <clears throat> the New King James, the King James says, Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. <laughs> you want your days to be long. <laughs> do what the Lord is telling us to do. Amen. Amen. You want things to go right, yes. grab the gra grab the Bible, grab the, uh -huh. the word of God, and Read what it says. Study it to show yourself approved. You want things to go right? Then you go by what the Word of God says. Not what people say. Right. Not what you want to do. But is that what God's wanted us yeah. to do? Amen. Our days will be long if we go by what He's telling us to do. Yeah. Amen. So when you find yourself in trouble, you find yourself in the wrong place, always know we can go His way and not the wrong way. He yeah. says there's only one way to the Father. Amen. And that's through Jesus. John right. 4, 14, 6 says, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Uh -huh. No one comes to the Father right. except through me. me. Amen. Right. So we got to get this right. You know, it's not through the world. It's not through uh, whatever situations or whatever things you've got, money, uh -huh. drugs, uh, whatever. You go through Jesus. Amen. Amen. Make him Lord of your life. Confess him as your Lord and Savior. And start living for him. Amen. Yeah. Start learning the word. And getting the word in him. Praise God. Amen. Ooh. Hallelujah. Praise God. <sighs> if I want to live long, I don't know about you, but if I want to live long, I'm going to start doing yeah. this. Even though mom's yeah. in healing, I said, happy Mother's Day first thing this morning when I woke up. Hallelujah. See how far I can go without choking up. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. Ephesians 6, 1 and 3 says in the New Testament, now in the New Testament, mm -hmm. says children obey your parents and the Lord, for this yes. is right. That's right. Honor your father and your mother, which is the first commandment with a promise. Uh -huh. He's promised us. You know, if God's promised you something, you know he's going to keep his promise. Right. Yeah. So we just need to so, obey what he's telling us to do. Yeah. That it may be well with you and you may live long on the earth. Uh -huh. So if you want to live long, you know what to do. Yeah. Honor your father Praise and your mother. God. Amen. Yeah. If you haven't called them in a while, now it's the time to get on the phone and call them. You know, uh, I know we do a lot of texting and stuff like that, but you know, it's good to hear voices. <laughs> it's good to hear the voice. Amen. Or do a FaceTime. Or, or better yet, if you have time, go visit with them. Amen. Yeah. When was the last time you visited them? You know, uh, really it's time to get yourself right. Amen. Yeah. This one here says, the New King James says, children. God calls us his children. You don't have to go around calling yourself a sinner. That's you right. made Jesus Lord of your life. Uh -huh. Now you're a child of God. Amen. I'm his child. Amen. Who are yes. you? Well, I'm a child of God. Who are you? Don't put yourself as a sinner if you know that you already accepted Christ yes. because now he's your heavenly father That's and right. I'm his child. Uh -huh. Amen. So it says children. He still calls us children. <laughs> it says children, obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise uh -huh. that it may be well with you yes. and you may live long on the long earth. Yes. You know, yes. we have enough distractions. We have enough things coming oh, against us sure. yeah. on a daily oh, basis yeah. without us having to dishonor our mother. Uh -huh. And now we're going against the commandment God has given us. Mm -hmm. He says, if you want to live long in, in this world, <laughs> in this earth, Honor your father and your mother. Yeah. Well, not only are we disobeying that, we're also having all these other distractions coming yeah. against us. Yeah. Amen. So I want to be on the right step. I want to be on the right road to him. Amen. Amen. I want to be on that road that says there's only one way to the Father, and that's through Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Follow him. And you won't go wrong. Amen. Yeah. There's no other ways. People yeah. talking about go this way, do it, do it this way. There's a new way. It's time to just leave that yeah. place, you know, and Amen. say, hey, Amen. I'm doing it God's way. I'm doing it the Bible way. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. 
So today's text is going to be on Proverbs 31, which is talks about uh, Proverbs 31 is about the perfect wife or mother, a mother that lives with <coughs> a mother that lives lives with uh, purpose, diligence, forgiveness, and repentance. Amen. So if you want to open your Bibles to Proverbs 31, we're going to be reading out of that. Proverbs 31. Hallelujah. Uh, <clears throat> what was the last time you opened the Bible? Come on in. <laughs> it's not just there to decorate your um, coffee table. <laughs> Dust it off and say, hey, praise God. Yeah. Open, it, open it up. We're going to start from verse uh, 10, okay? We're going to go from verse 10, which uh, mine says, a virtuous woman. Amen? Woo. So, this woman lives life with purpose. Diligence, forgiveness, and repentance, um, and we're, 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 we may we may repeat some of these uh, scriptures. So I mean, uh, yeah, we may repeat some of these verses, but and we're not going to go in order. So just follow along, and we're going to open up with Proverbs thirty-one twenty-eight through thirty. Okay, so twenty-eight through thirty it says her children says good things about her. Her husband brags about her, praises her. Verse 29 says, There are many good women, but you are the best. Yeah. Who is this woman? Her name is Mother. <laughs> she is a precious gift from God. In verse 30, Grace and beauty can fool you, but a woman who reverence the Lord should be praised. Amen. Amen. Now this is this is from the word, amen. <laughs> Praise God. So reverence means to do what? To, uh, attitude of deep love from a person of God or an act of respect. We have to respect. Amen. So praise God. I was reading it from here, so I hope you was following me. Ah. I already have it wrote down. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about this precious gift God has given us. Amen. So the Bible tells us, if you go back, Carmen, to uh, the one that's the all red. There we go. A mother's a gift of God. She is gracious. Mm. A mother's a precious gift who is gracious. Yeah. Uh, more concerned with this needs of others than she is for her need, own needs. She puts her family first. She puts needs second uh -huh. and uh, herself last. Yeah. She is gracious and self-giving in the words she speaks, the deeds, things she does. The gracious, uh, she is gracious to her household. She is gracious to her family. She is gracious to the needy. She is a woman of, of grace. Amen. A precious gift from God. Amen. Just <laughs> keep saying she is a gift of God. Amen. Remember that. When you remember that, you'll treasure her even more. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Amen. So open your Bibles. You're there. Uh, 31. Let's read uh, verses four and 14 and 15. Uh -huh. 14 and 15 says, She is the merchant ship. She brings her food from afar. Fifteen, she arises also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her husband, her household, and a portion to her maidens. Amen. And uh, 27 says, she looks well to the way of her household and eateth not to the bread of idleness. Amen. Yeah. Like I said, it's not going to be in order. And 21 says, she is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. Yes. In verse 20. She stretches out her hand to the poor. Amen. Yea, she stretches forth her hand to the needy. Amen. She is gracious and she is a precious gift of God. Also, number two, which is yes. the ah. gift God has given us, she is intelligent. A mother is a precious gift of God who is gracious. She is intelligent, she is wise, she is industrious, yes. and she manages her family and well and finances well. Amen. Amen. She knows her God. Yes. She has a relationship with him. Yes. She knows who she is in Christ. Yes. This is something we need to do on a daily basis. We need yes. to know whose we are in Christ. Yes. Amen. Yes. Just like David. And like all these Bible heroes that we know, they know who is backing them. Uh -huh. You know, when you know who's backing you, it doesn't matter. What's in front of you? That's right. Amen. God, God has already been there. 
And you know what? The Bible says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So no matter where I go, God has already been there. God has already settled this. All I need to know is what the Word of God says so that I can do all things through Christ. Amen. Praise God. And I don't have to have any fears. You know, when I'm full of the Word of God, <laughs> I'm full of faith. Yes. And those fears are gone. Those fears have to go. Amen. Amen. Submit yourself to God yes. and the enemy has to flee. Amen. Amen. When the enemy flees, those fears go. You know, and I'm stepping out in faith. Just yes. like Peter. Step out of your boat, step out of your box, step out of your house on a daily basis. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Because it doesn't matter what's waiting out there because I know God has been there. God has given me authority. And I want to step out in faith. I want to step out in authority. Yes, amen. You know, I'm looking. I'm going out looking for some devils, <laughs> amen. And they're in trouble. Yeah. So Bible says they're going to flee. Mm -hmm. They don't want no confrontation. That's right. She knows who's backing her. She knows her Christ. She knows who's backing her. Mm -hmm. She knows she can do all things through Him. Okay. She knows she has not been given a spirit of fear, That's but right. a power of love and of a sound mind. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. This is us on a daily basis, you know, not just once in a while. You know, you just don't get a high and, and, yeah. and then forget about God and then come back another time, you know, and then yeah. up and down, up and down, you know, we're, we're not made to be like yo-yos, you That's know. Right. On a daily basis, consistent is called relationship. Yeah. Have a relationship with God, amen. 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 That's daily, yeah. consistently. Yeah. Hallelujah. Description of an intelligent woman. She <clears throat> Balances her family and her business's responsibilities well. Yeah. She is an accomplished seamstress. She is a chef. She is a vineyard keeper. She is a fashion designer. She is a woman of intelligence. She is a gift from God. How many times do we have to say this for you to catch it? She is a gift of God. So you know, you just treat your mom. It's a precious gift from God. Amen. Thank you, the Bible's telling us. The Bible says in the fifth commandment to honor your father and your mother. Yes. They give us excuses <laughs> if they've done this or if they've done that. It just says honor them. Honor them. Amen. Honor them. Yes. You know, maybe it's time we do that and things will look better for us. Amen. Yeah. Doors are open. Amen. Things will happen. The blessings, the yeah. promises of God yeah. are going to come through because yeah. we got ourselves straight. Amen. Amen. We started doing what the word of God says. Oh man, I've been going against God all this time. If you're going against God, you ain't gonna win. That's right. Why not go with God Amen. and be on the winning Amen. team? Amen. Amen. That's right. <laughs> Praise God. God. Praise God. And number what is it? One, two, three. Faithful. Mm -hmm. A mother is a precious gift of God who is grateful. Yes. She is gracious, she's intelligent, and she is faithful. Yes. To her God, her priorities are in order. According to Matthew 6, 33, we need to say, submit yourself to God, resist the devil, uh -huh. he will flee. That's what the Bible tells us. Yeah. Yeah. But now in Matthew 6, 33, he tells uh -huh. us to seek him first. Yeah. Right. Amen. So if we got our priorities out of order, now it's time to get them in order. Yeah. And say, hey, put God first. Uh, I think last week we talked about it in Bible study. We talked about this too. Is we got to get off the throne and put uh -huh. God on the throne. Amen. And, Put him first. He's yeah. our first priority. Yeah. Amen. So get our priorities in order on a daily basis. I guarantee you, all the time I was military, we went through our priorities on a daily basis. Amen. And what's the plan of the day? God. We put yeah. God. You know, put put put, put him first. Yeah. Put, put your time with him, your relationship yeah. with him first. Your reading time with him first. Yeah. Amen. So know your priorities. Put put him first. She is faithful to her husband, and she is faithful to her family. Amen. So let's go back to Proverbs 31, verses uh, 10 through 12. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. Her heart to her husband does safely trust in her, so that she, so that he shall have no need of spoils. Yeah. Spoils. 12. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Amen. Amen. Now, verse 25. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she uh, shall rejoice in time of coming. 
17. She girded her loins with strength and strengthened her arms. In verse 30. Verse 30 says, Many daughters have done uh, virtuously, but, me, but thou excelleth them all. Yeah. Amen. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excelleth them all. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Amen. So faithful is one of the most important qualities of God. The greatest words we can hear from God are this. Matthew 25, 21. Well done, good and faithful servant. Amen. That's what I want to hear him say. Well done, good and faithful servant. Amen. If you want to be great in the kingdom of God, uh -huh. to learn to be a servant, servant of all. all. Right. Not just some, but says, learn to be a servant of all. Yes. Amen. Just the Bible tells us also that, Christ, that Jesus came not to be served, but to serve. That's right. He came to serve. Amen. Not to be served. So he's our greatest example of a servant. So if you don't see yourself wanting to serve anyone, it's time to line up with the word of God and be yes. a servant of all. Amen. Amen. Praise, Praise God. God. It is not our ability that counts with God, but our availability. Amen. We've studied this many times. We need to make ourselves available. Yes. Amen. He didn't put you here to fail. That's right. And when he put you here, he put you here to succeed. Yes. And he put everything in you that you need to fulfill what uh -huh. he's called you to do. That's he right. put you every, he put everything in you to accomplish what he set you to do. Amen. He put everything in you. To be a winner and not a loser. Amen. 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 It's time we renew our minds to what the Word of God says. See yourself a winner. See yourself a champion yeah. on a daily basis. Not just once in a while. Or not just uh, what people say about you. You know, <laughs> I'm going to be a God pleaser, not a man pleaser. Uh -huh. yeah. You know, because people will try to dictate uh, to you. Yeah. Yeah. That you're good, you're no good. Okay, they're gonna have you. You're never gonna please people, no matter what. That's right. Amen. But if you keep God up and up, priority first, you know, yeah. He's gonna be happy and He's gonna say, "Well done, good and faithful yeah, servant." That's what I want to hear. You know, Amen. sometimes you gotta stand. Sometimes being right is standing by yourself. Uh -huh. Amen. You know, just don't want to stand with the wrong and be a whole crowd of you on the right. wrong place. I want to stand. By myself, even if it's just me. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. So we are to make ourselves available. Why should I make myself available? The world says you're not qualified. The world says you're not qualified for anything. God says, make yourself available because I have already qualified you. Amen. Quit looking for people's approval or people's qualifications. When Christ has already uh, uh, qualified yes. you and says, I've anointed you, I've called you, yes. I have put everything in you that I need for you to fulfill what I have called you to do. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I'm preaching many amen in me now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he says, you're available. You're available. Mm -hmm. Amen. Make yourself available. Mm -hmm. Because you're a precious child of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now we're talking about this precious child of God, which is our mothers. <laughs> we must use our gifts and our abilities to fulfill and serve him and others. Mm -hmm. Amen. Bible says you're a minister of reconciliation. You're an ambassador for God. Yeah. So see yourself the way he sees you. Some he's called to a five-fold ministry. Mm -hmm. But others, he's called us to be ministers of reconciliation yes. or his ambassadors. Yes. Who is God going to use to speak? The people around you. Uh -huh. You, me. Amen. Yes. The Bible yes. says we can do all things through Christ. All things. A godly mother is a faithful and precious gift of God. Amen. Yes. So now we have a gracious, intelligent, faithful woman of God, gift of God. Amen. And now she is tender hearted. Yes. She is overflowing with love. Yes. She is overflowing with kindness. Mm. Proverbs 31 and 26 says, Speak with wisdom and teaches others to be loving and kind. Yes. She thinks, speaks, acts tenderly. Her tenderness is described in 1 Corinthians 13, 
4 through 8, and we've all read this before. I'll read it to you. This is from the easy to read version. You can, you can write this down and you can go back. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 and 8 says this. Love is patient yes. and kind. Love is not jealous. It is not brag and it is not proud. Love is not rude. It is not selfish. And it cannot be made angry easily. Love does not remember wrongs against it. Verse 6, love is never love is never happy when others do wrong, but always happy with the truth. Love is never uh, love never gives up on people and it never stops trusting, never uh, loses hope and never quits. Love will never end. Love never fails. Yes. Amen. And we yes. find out that God is love. Amen. Yes. Amen. And uh, we must do this also. Tender is a way of life for her. She is a she is a woman of tenderness, a precious gift of God, who should be received as a precious gift. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Receive it by faith with thanksgiving. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Show your gratitude. First, thank God for all the or for all her giving. This precious gift of mothers, all mothers, including those that have gone home to be with him. Second, thank your mother for being a godly woman, a gracious woman, an intelligent woman, a faithful, tender-hearted woman, a gift from God. Amen. And she has failed. If she has failed in these areas, love, accept, and forgive her. Yes. Amen. Don't allow division to come. Amen. Amen. Right. Obey the word of God. And honor her according to his word. It says, yes. honor your father and your mother according to the fifth commandment. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Again, Proverbs 31 and 28 says, children say good things about her. Mm -hmm. Her husband brags about her, mm -hmm. praises her. And 29 says, there are many, many good women, but you are the best. Ah. Hallelujah. You're the best. You're the best. Amen. Praise God. Who don't want to close without mentioning that there is one gift God has given which is more precious and that is Jesus Christ. Yes, amen. amen. Praise God. So those of you that are listening if you've never accepted Jesus, now's the time to accept him. Just receive him as Lord and Savior. Just say, Lord Jesus, I've sinned against you. I repent. I've come. I ask you to come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Amen. Start loving yeah. him. Start loving your mother. Yeah. Start forgiving your mother. Amen. Yeah. And accept her as a precious gift God has given you. Yeah. Amen. If it wasn't for her, you wouldn't be here. That's right. Amen. So praise God. John 3.16 says, well, excuse me. This is the Father's gift of his only one and only son, Jesus Christ. John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. This gift of salvation, the bridge between God and sin. Yeah. Amen. The world wanted to take away. God said, Jesus. And Jesus gaps that broken piece. Mm -hmm. Amen. He gaps that bridge. He's our bridge, our only way to the Father. Amen. 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 <laughs> so receive him as your Lord and Savior and yes. know that salvation is a free gift. Jesus Amen. gave us like come. And dying on the cross for us, amen. And salvation is free. All you have to do is receive it, yes, and, and amen. And, and and start living a, a life for God, amen. amen. Praise God. Oh, praise God. In closing, amen. <laughs> I knew you was gonna say that, amen. <laughs> happy Mother's Day. And, and, and once again, I wanted to read this and say, A happy Mother's Day. Listen, if you didn't get it the first time. To all mothers living or in heaven. Mm. Happy Mother's Day to all moms, grannies, great grannies, stepmoms, foster moms, pet moms, <laughs> and of course those who are lost. Those of you that lost your moms already in heaven. Moms are priceless. Amen. <laughs> I want to read this with you. Go but uh, the last one. 
I think so, yeah. One more. No, keep going, keep going. There you go. <laughs> How God created mom. God's masterpiece is a mother. Amen. God took the fragrance of the flower, the majesty of the tree, mm -hmm. the gentleness of the morning dew, the calmness of a quiet sea, the beauty of a twilight hour, mm -hmm. the soul of a starry night, the laughter of a rippling brook, the grace of a bird in flight. Then God fashioned those things, these things, God fashioned from these things a creation like no other. And when his masterpiece was through, he called it simply Mother. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers. We love you and we thank God for you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I hope this uh, touches you. I hope this blesses you. Amen. Amen. Praise God.